Hi, Filter here. Okay. Um, no, many of you might notice there's a difference of quality in the camera here. That's because I got myself a new computer uh, a few weeks ago. Still learning the ropes of Windows 10, but hey, what are you going to do? Anyway, what I want to talk to you about is um, the trailer for Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Now, many a theory are abounding about this movie. Many. My personal theory, which is something I stated uh, a while back, is the character of Rey, possibly, and bear with me, possibly being a clone of Shimi Skywalker. They do have a similar appearance, and it would actually make a little bit more sense. And this whole thing with the Emperor, when you hear the his laughter at the end of the trailer. And I think, honestly, this would be... Um, actually, it probably might explain a few things. Where you find out she's a clone of Shimi Skywalker. And he's been... You know, had her conditioned to use the Force... But some Imperials knew what Palpatine was doing and stole her. That should have been a thing that we should have been revealed in The Last Jedi. But we didn't get that. We got Ryan Johnson's Art House Project. So, uh, that being said, it opens the door to some interesting uh, concepts. And from what I understand, George Lucas is going to be a little bit more hands-on in this story. Which is something I like, because let's be honest, when you just kind of say, here's the franchise and you walk away, chances are somebody's going to screw it up if they don't have the vision that you had in, in mind. The kind of, it's kind of like, um, how can I put it? Good reference, I think. But here's a reference. There's an episode of Star Trek Next Generation called uh, Chain of Command. If you're familiar with that episode, it's when um, Picard is relieved to command, and then we get badass Ronnie Cox playing Captain Edward Edwin Edward Jellicoe, and you see the command styles. Just, it's like night and day between the two. It, it's night and day, but he still had the same goal in mind, and he wasn't going to screw this up. He knew what he was doing, and he got um, the crew, I wouldn't say to respect him, but they had to obey orders, and they did it quite well. And when he left, he just said, well, uh, it's back to yours again. A little worse for wear, but, uh, not so much worse for wear, but here we go. And he was gone. But, like I said, if you have somebody like that, where you have somebody with a style that you're used to. But if you have that same goal in mind, you could come up with something very, very good. Like I said in my previous Batwoman video, um, you have the bare bones of a very, very good character, a very good story arc. But, it, and I'll use my cooking metaphor for this one, it's the equivalent of somebody who has all the ingredients to make a Gordon Ramsay style meal, they have all the ingredients there, but they refuse to follow the instructions. And it's going to turn out not so good. In fact, it might turn out horribly. That's what we're dealing with. So, that being said, this is my theory. Shimi Skywalker is most likely, a, uh, has been cloned, and thus we get Rey. So, I just thought I'd put that out there. I'm Filter. Leave a comment below. Rate this video if you like. And until then, I'm out.